Good morning, my blue groupers. Uh, we're going to go over our spelling sort today. Uh, we're going to do um, prefixes. So, and it's going to be really easy. All right. So, um, follow along with me on this screencast and you should be good to go. All right. Here we go. First, you're going to have your, your uh, spelling sort. So, let me pull that up really quick and we'll go over your words. Okay. And let me just put my screen over. You guys have seen me do that. Shrink this down. All right, I'm going to make it a little bigger. There we go. All right. Full screen clip for you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here it is. And let's go over our words. All right. So you have the prefixes. Hold on, I'm going to shut my door. All right, so let's go over our words. We have in, un, dis, and miss. Those are our prefixes. All right, so let's go over our words. I'll go through them with you really quick. We have uneasy, insincere, dishonest, misspell, unaware, informal, disbelief, misfortune, unknown, infrequent, Disorder, mistake, undress, inhuman, disconnect, misleading, unfasten, inexpensive, disease, mischief, untidy, insane, disrespect, and discourage. All right. So first things first, I'm going to set up a key. So all the words that have the prefix in, I'm going to do in light blue. I'm going to highlight in light blue. All the words that have the prefix un, I'm going to do in light green. All the words that have the prefix dis, I'm going to do in yellow. And all the words that have the prefix miss, I'm going to circle in, I don't know, red or pink or whatever that color is, purple. All right. So one thing to point out is that the little tack is important in your, in your key. That little tack is representing the, where the root word is, right? That's representing where the root word is, all right? So here we go. Let's look at uneasy. Un-e-z. Un-e-z. So we're going to do un-e-z. Three syllables. Un-e-z. And this word starts with the prefix um, un. So... I am going to highlight that in green. How about insincere? Insincere. Let's split that up. We have insincere. And that starts with the prefix in. So I'm going to highlight that bad boy and dishonest. Dishonest. Yeah, okay. I'm going to split. Dissed, right? And that starts with the prefix prefix this, and I'm going to highlight that sucker in yellow. How about misspell? That's two syllables, so we're going to do miss miss spell, right? Two syllables, miss spell, right? Just a little hint. You always split the word between the double consonant there. But well, that starts with the prefix miss. So I'm going to circle that one. Okay. Now, I do want you to split your words. But first, so you'll go through that page and set and, 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 and uh, sort the whole page. So let's set up your page. Go ahead and open your vocabulary slash spelling notebooks to a fresh page. We're going to set those up really quick. So let's do that. Let's get your name and date at the top. Nine, eight, um, 20. And we're going to do spelling sort 
one, right? And so let's do, we got to split your page one, two, three in order to give you four. So we're going to do, uh, let's see what they are. We have, what were they? I forget. So we got to go back to our sort. Let's go back to our sort. They were in, un, dis, and miss. All right. So we're going to get that going. Make sure you put your tack. That represents the root word. Un, dis, and you'll just you'll bring your words over. So, um, what would be one we could bring over? Uh, let's see. Uh, misfortune, right? Misfortune, misfortune. So you would come right over here and split that. So you do miss for. Misfortune. That would go under miss, right? All right. What, what would be on for dis that we can add over there? Uh, disbelief. Disbelief. Right? So we'll do disbelief. All right. So after you sort all of your words, you're going to go ahead and bring them over to um, this page, right? And you're going to, you're going to split your words. All right. But before you do that, you'll go ahead and sort all of your spelling words on your sheet right here. Okay. All right. Um, well, good luck. I think you guys are going to do a great job. Let me pull my camera up and say hello to you one more time. Just follow my lesson, pause the video if you need to, and uh, Tadero out. What do you got today?